Ralph Rangnick names best two coaches in world football amid next Man United manager talks. Rangnick is set to be replaced in the Manchester United hot seat at Old Trafford at the end of the season with several names in the frame, but he has admiration for two unattainable targets. Ralph Rangnick feels Manchester United need not look far for an example they can follow to get themselves back to the summit of English football over the next two years. The German coach is currently keeping the seat warm at Old Trafford as United Chiefs deliberate over their next permanent managerial appointment. PSG boss Mauricio Pochettino and Ajax's Eric Ten Hag continue to be considered as the leading candidates on a shortlist of successors for Rangnick, who will move into a two-year consultancy role in June. Already Rangnick has one eye on the future beyond the end of this season, and outlined to reporters at a press conference on Friday how United must mirror the project at Manchester City to make themselves a force again. So it was little surprise he overlooked the likes of Pochettino and Ten Hag in naming City's Pep Guardiola and Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp as the best coaches in world football, while also revealing he has been part of initial talks regarding the next United manager. Asked whether a new manager would be able to give United a new identity, Rangnick replied, I don't know. That would obviously depend on the manager next season. Every head coach has his idea of football but for me is about continuing at the highest level. For me, Jurgen and Pep are two of the best coaches in Europe. They have a clear idea of football and having a vision. Rangnick comes up against Guardiola in opposing dugouts on Sunday in a Manchester derby which could play a big part in the races for the Premier League title and top four. But while a win for United would give them a huge boost in their hopes of qualifying for the Champions League, Rangnick looks unlikely to be kept in the hot seat beyond June. Quizzed on his chances to land the gig long term, he said, I have no idea. I haven't made any thoughts about that because my focus is on Sunday and then on Tottenham and Atletico. There is no time for me to think about that. If United were considering Rangnick for the top job, however, it's difficult to imagine they would also include him in discussions over who should be next in line. We have had one or two meetings with the head of scouting, he revealed, when pressed on whether he was involved in the recruitment process. I will not speak too much about that in detail, he added. We have not spoken about the new manager too much. Rangnick was frustrated by United's lack of transfer activity in the January window, which was a clear indication that he would not be back to make any signings before a new manager is appointed. He admitted at Friday's press conference that he had not held any discussions over potential new additions and stated clearly his focus was on doing his best for the team until the end of the campaign. But whilst commenting on City's impressive progress, Rangnick conceded their rival's model is one United must aim to follow if they are to get back on a level playing field. For the past five or six years, they have had a very good and clear identity, he explained. Pep has a clear idea of how he wants to play. This idea is the headline for everything that happens at the club, recruitment, players they will sign or who they may sell. This is the secret of their success and their guideline for everything that they do. That is for the players and other staff. All of the top clubs in Europe have that in common and this is something that needs to be improved and developed at Manchester United in the next two years.